Hello, it's Scott Manley here for TheMitani.com with a special early access look at Kerbal Space Program Point Two Four, which has been cunningly subtitled First Contract. So let's start with a quick look at the new Space Center scene. Up the top, we now have the measurements of progress within this mode. We have the funds, we have your reputation and your science. These are all acquired through contracts and through a little bit of research. But the contract building is the main new place to go. Mission Control, staffed by Gene Kerman. You can accept contracts from various vendors. Initially when you start out, you will just have some people wanting to see that you can in fact launch a vessel and perhaps set an altitude record. And of course, building these things is the same as before. There are a couple of new parts in the form of RCS engines which use liquid fuel and uh, main engines which now use monopropellant. And uh, to get to the altitude, I'm going to add a little solid rocket booster here. That will be my very basic rocket. You see down here it's going to cost me 1297 of my funds. And uh, out of 12,293, so I'm doing pretty well here. Now we're ready to launch, there's a few basic changes here, but if you look at the contracts tab, you can see the contracts ready to, that you're trying to complete. I hit space and of course I complete this launch a new vessel contract right away. And in exchange for that it tells me I get funds, I get science, I get reputation. Thank you. And as I continue to fly higher, I'm aiming for 5000 meters. If I cl uh, click on this tab here, we can actually watch my cache tick up the instant I pass 5,000 meters. Brilliant! Now let's bring the spacecraft back to Earth. Now, or back to Kerbin. You can still do research, of course, collecting science the old-fashioned way. And in fact, the old-fashioned way will still be the backbone for acquiring science. We have another mission completion here. Set altitude record. Brilliant. So, as I'm falling back to Earth, time to deploy the parachute. And uh, what I want to do is hopefully land close to the space center because it cost me funds to put this rocket together and launch it. And if I recover it, then I get funds back for the bits that I've recovered. So let's hope that as much of this makes it back to the space center in as one piece as possible. There we go. It looks like we're going to land just outside the Astronaut Academy, inspiring future generations of astronauts to go higher than greater than ever before. Brilliant. Now, we recover the vessel, and we're going to see the new mission summary screen. We, of course, get our science, which we've had as before, but now it tells us what we've recovered from this particular uh, launch. And you see that we're getting this at 98% value because we landed within the boundaries of the Kerbal Space Center. So we get 1,000 back. We get, par uh, we get money for the parts, for the parachute, and for the monopropellant fuel that was left on board. And as for our crew, well, for recovering Jebediah Kerman safely, we get a little reputation boost. Back at Mission Control, we have some more contracts available to us, and you see now that we're getting them from other groups, such as the R&D department, who want us to test things while in flight. They want us to test the RT-10 solid rocket booster. They and uh, someone called Demolition Enterprises wants a test of their experimental TR-18 stack decoupler. Now this one is most interesting because I haven't actually unlocked that part in the science tree. They will give us a limited number of parts to test, but uh, we uh, don't need to actually unlock it to test it. We do, however, need to make sure we match the correct altitude and velocity before we perform the test by decoupling at that altitude. Of course. This is a small section of the missions. The missions get larger and more complicated. You get to go further afield. You will have to go to other planets, plant flags, rescue other astronauts. It will provide a series of goals in a game which until now has largely been a sandbox built around uh, blowing Kerbals up. This is Scott Manley for the Mitani. Fly safe. <laughs>